Hello there, this is Dave Allen. I'm good and geeky and I make tutorial videos on YouTube. When you're making a design, you need to know the difference between the artistic text and what you're going to get with the frame text tool. These two designs look like the same, but they're not. They're different. What's happening is when you take this one here and you want to resize it, look, no problem. Hold down the shift key, it stays in proportion as you change it, no problem. Get this one over here and you do this and you're going to get different results. Oops, that's not working. Oh dear, that's a shame. Now that's because this one over here is done with frame text. Okay, to get frame text you go to this icon over here and you make a rectangle for where the frame text is going to be. And type in whatever you want. Okay, so I'm typing in whatever there and that's frame text. That is very different from doing artistic text. Now artistic text is this one here, artistic text tool. Just tap where you want the text, start typing in. And this one here is not going to be sort of bothered by any framing that's around it. So this one here, I can take it and I can change the size of it. That is the artistic text, which should be over this side here, because that's that side with the artistic text. This one over here is the frame text tool. So let's get this one here and just uh, change the size of the uh, letters. If we're changing the size of the text, it has to stay within the borders to the left and right of the rectangle. And if we're changing the size of the rectangle, then the text stays the same size and gets moved around within that space. But if you start sizing it like this, oops, that's not going to work. OK, so that's a quick lesson there of the difference between artistic text and using the frame text tool. So I'm Dave Allen from Good and Geeky and if you've got something from this don't forget to leave a comment and click on the like button. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye now, talk to you again soon.